Welcome, I'm Matt Hamilton. Are you concerned about financial consequences from your driving while suspended and driving while revoked ticket? Do you want to avoid a conviction on your record and the mandatory minimum 48 hours of, of jail time that are mandated in certain circumstances? Are you worried about a conviction and want to manage that? In this video, I teach how to do that and how to manage those problems. I'm Matt Hamilton and welcome. Harrisonville Municipal Court uh, charges many people on many different traffic offenses, but the driving while revoked and driving while suspended citations are the second most expensive and second most serious traffic ticket that you can get other than the DWI. These require management early because they're not intuitive and it's not common sense. There are several distinctions that you need to know about. First of all, operating a motor vehicle under Missouri law is more broad. It means actual physical control, which means the vehicle does not necessarily have to be running. The vehicle does not necessarily have to be moving. If you have the keys and you're in the vehicle, you're in actual physical control, and that's not a defense. A second issue that can be a defense is you have to be moving that vehicle or in that vehicle on a city road, a county road, or a state highway. If you're on private property or in your backyard, you're not driving while suspended. You're not driving while revoked. That is a defense. Another thing that people think is a defense that is not is that you may be perfectly valid under Missouri law. However, you're suspended in Kansas or you're revoked in Pennsylvania or Iowa. The Missouri statute says that you must be suspended or revoked in Missouri or any other state. So you can be guilty of this crime even though you've done nothing in Missouri. Watch out for that. Another thing that people think is a defense which is not is uh, ignorance of the law, ignorance of their suspension. That's not to say you're ignorant, but you may not have been informed that your failure to appear resulted in a suspension, or your child support issues have suspended your license, or there's some insurance issue, or uh, some sort of um, you know, non-compliance issue that have caused your driver's license to be suspended and nobody ever told you. That's not a defense. However, what the way to do it, the way to solve these problems, is call an attorney that practices in this area as soon as you get the ticket, you know, right now, so we can become, begin to manage the process of solving the issues. One thing that is the single most effective way to solve these problems and minimize your cost, minimize your inconvenience, minimize your risk, is to get reinstated. And oftentimes that's not a simple process. It requires intervention by courts, or it requires intervention by the Missouri Department of Revenue Driver's License Bureau. That often requires an attorney to enter their appearance and solve that problem. The sooner we start that, because it can take months and months, the sooner that issue is solved. So we're going to be doing that from the outset. Another issue is some people, because of child support, or a five-year denial, or a ten-year denial, do not have the option to reinstate their license. And in that case, oftentimes prosecutors will not negotiate with you on that, and you have to go straightly to the judge, say Judge Anderson. Well, you're going to have various virtues that I don't know about in this video, but we need to accentuate. And then you're going to have various vices, problems in your life, that we need to minimize or solve. Well, the sooner we start that solution process, the better off you'll be. That's driving while suspended in Harrisonville. I hope it's helpful. I want you to go to my website and look up because I have presented additional details that will specifically apply to your case that will help. Um, after that, give me a call at my office and we'll talk about the specific challenges that you've got and how to overcome them, minimizing your cost, minimizing your risk, and solving your problem. Let's driving while revoked, driving while suspended. I hope I've been helpful. Thank you for joining me.